What's up everyone, welcome to a cartoon special. I've got very, very good news. Over this past weekend, Swifty and I got together, we were doing some Twin Peaks, and we wanted to do something pretty epic for YouTube. Something amazing to show you guys that's never been done before. And just like his Fury 300,000, you know, damage crits, we wanted more damage. And guess what guys, we did it. Now, I'm not sure, but we have pretty probable cause that this is uh, one of the highest, or if not one of the highest, the highest crit ever dealt on a player before. So I'm going to show you how I did it and break it down for you guys. But first, here's to one of the most epic challenges in World of Warcraft history. Alright, so right about now, you should be kind of aroused in some sort, you know, I mean, it's only fair. But, I mean, when we reached that number, I never thought it would be possible. But anyways, let's, uh, let's move on to how I did it. For this occasion, I regemmed all of my gear to intellect gems. I didn't really re-enchant or reforge anything differently from, like, my normal gameplay. Although, I did buy a soul casket, because that's a little bit more damage since it's mastery. Uh, the mastery instead of the Brazil from the regular trinket. But let's go ahead and move on to the actual killing awesomeness. Alright, so right about now, I've ran over to the Berserking Hut, and Swifty ran over to his Berserking Hut, so we both have the Berserking buff. Mine for 30% damage increased coming out, his for 10% er, increased damage coming in. I get to the group, and my Shaman pops heroism for 30% faster cast time. And he also puts his totems down, which increases spell power and critical strike percentage. Uh, I start casting on McMockery, a damage soaker so I can get 4 stacks of Arcane Blast for 52% more increased damage as well. Right about here, I have a Holy Paladin on the opposing side uses Avenging Wrath, which are the wings, and the Divine Favor for 20% more damage increase and 20% critical strike increase. Unfortunately, I made a mistake by not counterspelling the Paladin's cast, which could have further increased my damage by 12%. But oh well, the damage was still awesome, as now you should know. As of now, we're knee deep into the process. From the early Arcane Blast, my chance to activate spell damage items have been indeed activated. And I used Arcane Power just now for 20% more damage on top of all of that. My on use trinket for 2,000 more spell power has been used, and my mana gem for about 3,000 more spell power on top of all of that has also been used. Okay, so we're about 80% done with the process. We have my cooldowns up. As you can see, Tricks of the Trade was used for 15% more damage by a rogue in my party. And also, when I first got the Berserking buff at the start, I put up Mage Ward and Mana Shield so I could have Absorbs up for a mage on the opposing teams to uh, cast at me. And absorbing his damage, taking 20% of his damage and transferring it into even more spell power with the Encanter's Absorption talent and then Mage Arcane Tree. Uh, which that evens out to about 4,000 more spell power on top of everything that I have now. Alright, so top it all off, we have Swifty side of the damage increases. Like I said before, he has a Berserking buff that increases the damage taken by 10%. We have a Curse of Elements, which increases magic damage taken by 8%. One of my mage friends in the group put Slow on Swifty. So with the Torment of the Weak talent and the uh, Mage Arcane Tree, it increases your Arcane damage on slowed targets by 6%. Swifty also has a 100% damage increase taken because he's been holding the flag for 10 minutes. He uses Recklessness right before I cast on him, and Death Wish at, also at the same time, uh, further increasing damage taken by 25-1%. All in all, when it all adds up together, it's about 157% coming out of damage, and 149 increased damage coming in of, uh, to 50. And I have about, you know, around 22,117 spell power. Uh, at that point, 51.8% crit, and 0.9 second cast times.
First things first, I'd love to give a huge shout out to Swifty and everyone that helped me achieve this massive record. And uh, there's no way I would ever be able to do something like this without your guys' help. I hope you all enjoyed my explanation on how to achieve this massive amount of damage. And of course, if you like my videos, toss me a like and a favorite and leave some comments uh, down below for some feedback. Also, if you want daily Rank 1 Mage PvP and tutorials, be sure to click the annotation to subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you keep watching my videos in the future.